Hi, my name is Paul Grogan, and in this special Gaming Rules Podblast, I'm going to be talking to Vlaja Havatel about the Through the Ages app, which has just been released on Android and iOS. It's currently September 2017, and I'm talking to Vlaja a little bit about the development process behind the app and where he goes from here. Okay, so Vlaja, thank you very much for, for joining me. Hello, Paul. And Through the Ages app has finally been released. Yes, uh, I'm very glad. Yes. Now, I've spoken to you a number of times over the last two or three years about, you know, what games you're working on and, and what you're doing next. And a lot of the time it's been, well, we just need to get the Through the Ages app finished. So, so a lot of us have heard that for a very long time. How does it feel that the app is now finally out there? Uh, yeah, it's hard to believe that, uh, after all these <laughs> years. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, the reception is great, and you know, uh, you would say that now I would take a rest, but I am just playing with people online <laughs> and uh, playing <laughs> the, playing the final version of challenges, looking if everything is okay. Because uh, yeah, uh, uh, we really tried to do a perfect job, so I am just double checking, uh, and then. I I need to, you know, there are some duties, some board game related duties I have. Yeah. Uh, I need to uh, finish some stuff. And then during all the time, all this time I was working on the app, I was just uh, storing my ideas and uh, some possible, possible new games and everything. And I'm really looking forward now to dive to this uh, uh, pile of uh, potential games yes. and to pick something and bring it uh, because for now I was just uh, it, when I was involved very much with the digital games I was doing just small games like uh, uh, this, uh, that's a question or code names uh, yeah. but I'm I'm still uh, like I have this drive to do something big and meaty yes so this is, this is very good news for people out there like me, uh, who like your, <clears throat> excuse me, who like your, your big meaty, you know, fairly complex games like Through the Ages, Mage Knight, Dungeon Lords, all of them, is that you haven't stopped doing those games, you just haven't had the, uh, the energy because you've been focusing so much on the Through the Ages. Uh, yeah. The truth is that probably uh, I shifted a bit also in this area. Uh, I now are looking more towards a uh, story in the game than than the complexity. Uh, also, my uh, kids are uh, uh, now uh, they grew up and I can play with them. Yeah, and they love uh, good story-driven games. So Excellent. I think I will focus on this even more. And yeah, uh, I will see. I. You know, I always liked to uh, play games of all types of complexity, lighter games, uh, yes, uh, and uh, heavier games. And uh, I thought that I am good only at doing the heavy ones. And then I had great luck with uh, code names. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I still think you know uh, it's something that you cannot plan. Yeah, that just games or not. Yeah. But uh, you can you can uh, do a good uh, heavier game by just investing lots of work and effort and thinking and love to it, and that's what I am planning to do again. I will see. I don't actually. I yeah. don't know how much I changed during this <laughs> this time. So I will see how it will go. Okay. Now you talked about through the ages taking years of development. Can you just run us give us a brief history, as it were, of when the Through the Ages app first started to be created, was it four years ago? So the first version, uh, first digital version of Through the Ages was actually created even before the game was published. Oh, okay. So 11 years ago then? Uh, yeah, uh, more than 11 years ago. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, I was working in a video, video game in, uh, company at that moment, and when I was starting uh, doing this game, I did also an online version, uh, because first I was just playing with myself, uh, 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 dragging stuff uh, on the screen. Right, okay. 
and uh, then I um, uh, made it online and played with my friends, uh, actually with people that later created uh, CGE. Right, okay. Uh, then uh, during the years there was uh, this board gaming online site, which is a great site, uh, free, where people could play through the ages. Uh, I was playing there too. And I, and I was uh, grateful that something, someone did this for my game. Uh, but I was always, uh, actually when we were starting our digital digital production, I was always uh, wishing that there is also an uh, uh, official version of Tour de Ages. At that moment also I was approached by Curito, uh, yes. which is a board game implementation uh, company. And uh, they asked me to create Tour de Ages, so I said, okay, great. And uh, in the end, it didn't happen because uh, at that moment I didn't realize how difficult the task is. Yeah, I wanted great, uh, like near to perfect implementation. Uh, uh, now I understand way uh, uh, way better why it direct uh, why why never met any deadlines uh, and. Uh, but this was not, not not the reason to end the end the cooperation. Uh, the reason was it didn't uh, met the quality I imagined uh, by by far, and in the end we agreed that uh, it is not uh, because the company was basically one man in the end. So uh, so it is not uh, in his powers to make this happen, not just on time but at all. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the agreement was made that Codito would, would stop developing the app and that you would then bring the app in-house because at that time yeah. CG Digital had already been created, is that right? Yeah, yeah, we were right. uh, uh, already working on Galaxy Tracker. Uh, so I just didn't, pro uh, I several times prolonged the agreement with uh, Codito, but uh, in the end we decided it is... Uh, it, it will not happen, so yeah. I, I brought it back and we hired a programmer to work uh, on, uh, while we were working on Galaxy Tracker, we hired another programmer to work on Through the Ages. Yeah. Uh, at that moment, we already started to realize how big project it is to <laughs> do everything perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, part uh, of the code has to be rewritten because the project is starting to grow to be very uh, big and complex and it, when you are do something like uh, this big uh, you need a uh, uh, solid, solid uh, core yep. and uh, so uh, several people joined uh, Martin or this programmer uh, in his effort uh, but none of them full time actually it was me uh, it was uh, Matuš Kotry, who is uh -huh. uh, author of Alchemist and uh, also is a programmer. Uh, and also uh, my wife Marcela, who is also a programmer. Okay. Uh, so uh, we, uh, uh, we start to help him uh, to finish the app. In the end, uh, he left the company. So it was, uh, it was uh, these three people working on the game itself. Uh, but uh, later, uh, in the uh, later phase of development, basically all company uh, mm -hmm. joined us. Uh, uh, we, as we did with Galaxy Tracker, when the uh, app was close to finish, we stopped other pro pro projects. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, everyone was trying to, uh, to help us to finish uh, the app, the multiplayer, uh, achievements, rankings, uh, the server part, uh, yeah, yeah. all these uh, things that uh, is, are not just the game, but the app, yeah? Yeah, and the CGE Digital team is actually quite big. How many people are actually in CGE Digital? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, would need to, <laughs> I would need to count, yeah? But, right. uh, but yeah, uh, uh, basically the... Uh, when I was talking about this program, I would have, there were three programmers that uh, joined yeah. uh, joined us. Uh, uh, so, uh, and uh, we have also some designers, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it grows because we need not just uh, publish new apps, but we need also maintain and create content for the yes. for the apps that are, for the are already apps. out. So, yeah, uh, yeah. 
So here we are, September 2017. Now, um, CGE did release a date when the app would first be available, and that was spring 2016. So obviously we're a year and a half after we originally said we'd launch it, but that's because the complexity of the app, there's a lot going on in the app itself, but also you have implemented, you know, single player campaign mode, well, not, you've, you've got challenges, You've got obviously the in-depth tutorial, you've got achievements, you've got multiplayer, you've got async, multiplayer, pass and play. A lot of other apps that come out don't come out with all of the features included from the start. You know, they, they will say, oh, it's just single player for now and we'll, we'll add multiplayer later or, or the other way around. Whereas with this app, you wanted to make sure it was as good as you, can, as you could make it and have everything in there right right from day one. Yeah, we had our dream how the app should look like, and uh, we mm -hmm. know we know that uh, many people already play uh, multiplayer, and you know that uh, we wanted the multiplayer to be at least as comfortable uh, as the other means. Uh, yep. And at the same moment, uh, we didn't want to left out the uh, the new players. Yeah, so that was uh, that why there had to be a tutorial, which was lots of work uh, uh, to do. Uh, there, sh there had to be uh, this single player. Uh, again, uh, AIs uh, were this was lots of work for Matush, uh, and I think he did a very great great job in the yeah. end on it. And uh, at the same time. Uh, you know, I was expecting that the I was I didn't imagine the AIs will be like really competitive for uh, good players. So I yep. uh, from the start I had this idea there will be challenges uh, with some tweaked rules, usually disadvantages for the player. Yep. In the end, it is not needed as much because the <laughs> AIs are pretty good, but yep. uh, still uh, still it is worth it because it uh, just. Uh, make players to think different ways and uh, uh, approach the game uh, from different angles and so on. So uh, it was worth it. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah, we wanted the app to be great. Yes. And, um, you know, my personal opinion is that it's great. I always have said that Galaxy Trucker, for me, has been the best conversion of a board game into app form. And obviously... Some people don't believe me when I say that because I, I work for the company, but, you know, that's my personal opinion. Through the ages has, I mean, I've been lucky enough to be part of the beta, so I've, I've seen the development process for this game now for many, many months. But seeing the final version out there and social media today being flooded with pictures of people playing it and saying how great it is, you know, that's, it's just really, really good to see that. And I'm glad that other people are now... Um, being able to experience the game and, and play through the game. So, yeah, thank you for all of your hard work on the app. And um, as I say, the things that you're now working on is Essen is only six weeks away and you have a Tashkalara expansion coming out at Essen. So... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, actually, yeah, when, when you called me, I was working on it uh, because, uh, yeah, uh, because uh, we already... We just need to do final playtesting yep. for balance. Uh, the art is already in progress and I am doing... Uh, I'm working on this uh, with uh, David Turzi and uh, we will playtest online again. Yep. Uh, I hope it, I will start to, to, it yep. tomorrow, today. So yeah. final, final balancing of that. And then you need to help me with the script for the That's a Question video. It's non-stop, isn't it? There's always, uh, always yeah, going to be something going on. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought I'd remind you of that one. But yeah, one, once, once Essen is out of the way, um, then you can start then sitting down and putting some new games on paper and, and seeing, seeing what we I will see. I will see. Maybe I will just take a nap, like for a month or something <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah. So excellent. Right. Well, thank you very much for for joining me uh, and for you know telling everybody about the um, about the process that has been with you now for for many many years. And um, yeah, the app is now out there. Okay. Thank you and goodbye.
And there you go, that's the end of the interview with Vlaja, where I found out uh, more than I was expecting to. So talk about future games that he's going to be working on. Nothing specific, but he did drop some hints as to, you know, where his mind is with the kind of games that he wants to make uh, now. So personally, as I say, I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, what he's got in store for us you know, over the next few years with all of these ideas that he's had that he's not been able to do anything with. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. If you want to hear any more of my stuff, this was just a mini pod blast, but I do do a podcast every couple of weeks. And of course, I've got all of the rules videos and everything else. It's all on the YouTube channel of Gaming Rules Videos. So until next time, thanks very much again to the sponsors of the show, Games Law, the UK's largest specialist games retailer, and to Jason Shaw at audionautics.com for the music used in this podcast. Take care and thanks for listening.